Hi. How many were just here before? So most of you have already heard all this. So I have anything to say, no. Uh, <laughs> locals only, for those of you I have, who've heard it before, I apologize. But for those of you who haven't heard it, this is a play that is, uh, is kind of reflective of my life a, a bit. I was born here in Santa Monica, um, raised here and in the valley, and I've lived here for about 30 years back in here in Santa Monica, in, in Venice, Ocean Park. And um, I was approached by Dr. Chewy Sang to write a play that he felt could be made at Santa Monica College, that could be put on at Santa Monica stage and at the Broad stage, and receive an audience that would be a lot larger than just the Santa Monica College audience that it would reach an audience that he felt the broad stage should reach, which is our full community in Santa Monica. So that right now the broad stage, he said, you know, when they, when they put on plays there, that the average age is like, you know, 50. He said he would love to put on plays that the average age is 20. So he came to me and said, can you write a play for us that we as a school could put on as a whole that we could get our theater department, our film department, our marketing department, our advertising department, uh, our graphics department, and as a whole, can we create a play that, that we can put on at the school? And then that play, hopefully, will have a secondary life, which is at the Broad stage, and then a third life, hopefully, around to be licensed anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world. Um, I was the creator and producer of High School Musical. And we, you know, I created this little play, I mean, little movie that we made. And we have put it on, we've made a total of, of uh, seven movies um, on it around the world. <coughs> we've put on plays around the world, we've put on ice shows around the world. And we have licensed High School Musical over 6,000 times for performances. So, if we can create a play that you can license to, uh, to you know, public theater in um, any state, any city, any in the United States and around the world, it'll be really great for Santa Monica College. It's a calling card because it's going to be a Santa Monica College play. And it's going to be a play created by Santa Monica College students and from beginning to end. Um, from uh, the directing, I'm not directing the play, Praviz is directing, the local director here at Santa Monica College. And we're going to have classes like this, design posters, help with selling, help with marketing. Um, we're going to have the social media department design all the social media and help with that. We're going to um, cast out of Santa Monica College. Um, so it's going to be a Santa Monica College play. Um, what I want to do is the play, actually I'm not going to say it again, but the play is, this is it, this is the play. It's about a young surfer, it's Romeo and Juliet. It's about a young surfer who is, had a Peter Pan father who didn't um, really work very much, was supported by the mother who owned a restaurant in Venice. And um, the son, the father has now died of cancer just recently and the son has left adrift a bit doesn't quite know what to do. And he runs into a beautiful young woman from the valley who is very much interested in becoming a surfer, but has a surfer boyfriend who is a professional surfer who does surfing for competitive reasons, who looks to surfing to make money. And um, so the conflict between her boyfriend and who she wants as her new boyfriend is that one of them surfs for the kind of the spiritual quality of surfing. He just goes out there for that oneness with the waves. And the other guy that she's kind of been around is into kind of the, the money aspect of surfing, which there is a professional touring, professional competition money aspect of surfing. And those two worlds, by the way, are in conflict in real life. Um, there's guys that uh, would never do that, that surf every day, and there's guys who just surf to make money. <clears throat> so that's kind of the internal conflict of the play setup. And she has to decide between the, one of the two guys. And in the end, she picks our surfer. Um, and unlike Romeo and Juliet, neither of them die in the end. 
Um, <laughs> so it isn't West Side Story. But um, that, that is our play. Our play is multimedia. So the play is, has a full screen, rear screen projection during the whole play. So the film department here is going to make basically an edit, make film and edit a 90 minute movie that's going to run behind the play at all times. Sometimes it'll be static because it'll just be like a shot of the beach or a shot of the pier, um, shot of the, of the canals. Other times it'll be moving because we have shots where they're going to put GoPro cameras on cars and the car is going to drive from Venice Beach to the valley and then from the valley back to Venice Beach. And that journey, instead of being a half an hour or three hours, depending on what the journey is, it'll be 15 seconds. So the, the, the rear screen projection will show that journey. When the kids surf, they won't be out surfing. We will do, we'll film surfing and that surfing will be uh, on this, in the rear screen projection. Um, also the rear screen projection has graphics. So at one point, uh, the, 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 our lead boy and girl, um, when they get together in his, his house, um, they start kissing and his other unrequited love girl shows up and they hide. So all the lights go off. But what happens is the, her, the girl, her name is Jasmine, leaves the unrequited love interest. And um, the stage is completely black. And all you'll see is big graphics that say, you know, kissing. You know, so we're doing all kinds of graphic play, things like that. One time one of the lead characters, uh, who's a mural painter, so we have a, a character who's a mural painter. And murals are obviously very emblematic for Venice, California and in this area. And um, he paints a mural starting at the beginning of the play, and the mural starts painting itself at certain times. So it just continues painting. When the, when the bad guys, when the bad surfers want to take revenge out on our surfers, when the valley surfers want to take revenge on our surfers, they try to destroy the mural. So they take big buckets of paint and they throw it on the mural. And the mural turns all red. Um, all that would be done filmically. Um, so the play is a combination of graphics, cinema, live performance, which is song and dance and acting. That's our play. Um, what we have to do uh, is figure out how to get an audience come to see. We, need, we have about 2,500 tickets to sell here at Santa Monica College, and then we have about 6,000 tickets to sell at the Broad Stage. And we want to advertise the Broad Stage. The Broad Stage is a stage owned by Santa Monica College. It's on the corner of 10th Street in Santa Monica. It's, oh, okay. it's been there for three years. Uh, it's an A-quality stage, putting on great performances. Um, so we got to figure out how to get audiences for both of those things. So design, advertising, design uh, a program, design where the advertising would be seen, who would be seen by, how would it be seen. Um, I'm not totally familiar with your class, but I think that that's part of the class here is figure out where the markets are, how do you reach the market through advertising. Right, the broad stage, the broad stage is actually analyzed, and I'm sure you could bring someone here to talk about it, but their audience is very confined. Yeah. Very confined. People don't go, they don't come from Encino right. to the broad stage very often. They just don't do it. But how can we create that to happen? Exactly. You have to create the interest to happen. There's no real budget, so the advertising, um, and actually there is a budget, there is a budget. It's small, but there is a budget. So there will be a budget to maybe put stuff on some buses and on some bus stops and on some posters and things like that. There is a budget. Yeah, it'd be great to figure out if, if there's a, there is a limited budget, where could you take you know, 50 posters and put them up so it actually could make a difference? That'd be great. And obviously, there's certain places that will appeal. I mean, there are Quicksilver, uh, Active. I mean, there are stores, you know, that, are, that, are, that have a very specific appeal. Tom's, all those places would be great. If we could actually design a program that would go to Tom's and to Active and to...
Yeah, this is nonprofit. Also, I, I don't know about this, but if you go on Hobie Cat or, I mean, uh, Body Glove and OP and Quicksilver, they all have their own websites. And there's always stuff on their websites being advertised that for uh, nonprofit stuff like, you know, Save the Whales, so maybe we can get on something like that and really hit that audience. But again, we pretty much know that the audience is not going to travel very far to come see this. West Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we, we can expand that because maybe because of the beach theme. I mean, maybe you're going to get people from Manhattan Beach. And October 15th, more or less around October 15th. But it all has to be, you know, we're prepping it now, we're casting it now. Yeah, it'd be great to have, do Freddy, you know, first Freddy handouts there, you know, it'd be great. Yeah. Even on the boardwalk, you know. Yeah. The, the play opens with a drum circle. Yeah. So before, as the audience are coming in, there's a drum circle. Uh, you know, you, you don't know what's going on, but people are going to sit down and talking about the drum circle, and obviously it's emblematic of kind of what goes on at Venice Beach on Sundays. You know, but I would suggest, if you could contact the Broad and ask them, because they, they have something called, you know, it's an a area code um, synopsis of their people who have viewed who come into their, um, to their thing. So they, if you look, and I've seen it before, they have, a, they have a, like a map, and it says, you know, 90402, how many people in 90402 has visited the Broad stage? And, you know, it's like you see all these dots. And then it, when it ends up in Malibu, the dots are a lot less. It goes into the valley, there's fewer dots. So there might be some way to do some research, to ask the Broad if they can have an audience, uh, you know. Um, I, I doubt if Santa Monica College stage has ever done a, you know, a, something. It's probably 90% students. There's 34,000 students here, guys. <laughs> you should get all of them. <laughs> it's a musical. Yeah, rock and roll musical. Not old music, all new. Um, I'm working right now in Matthew, who's sitting back there not paying attention. <laughs> I just <laughs> teasing. Matthew, we're working with the writers um, right now, and we're producing the music. And we have um, about six or seven of the songs done, and I've stopped producing it because um, the music department, I made a presentation to them, and I said, here's songs that need to be done, need to be produced. And you guys are songwriters. You can contact the music department and start seeing if you can uh, you know, write songs. They're very specific. It's rock and roll. It's not old music, contemporary. Uh, and there's five or six songs that soon either I have to start producing again or I'm looking for writers to write those songs out of Santa Monica College. But I'm very picky about that, so it's difficult. <laughs> so the poster design, yeah, the poster design, you know, I, I, I just said, someone said, what did you want the poster to be? And um, it's funny, I was in, just in my office the other day and I was thinking about posters and I was looking around and um, there's, I have, I have you know, La Bamba and Desperado and, um, God, what else was there? There, there, are, there were posters running on one side of the office and the other side there was a bunch of from high school. Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible. But there were, on the other side of my office there was, there was um, a Midnight Clear I don't know if anyone saw Ethan Hawke and Gary Sinise's movie. And then some high school musicals. And, and the ones on one side of the office were, had all multiple people. So you'd saw high school musical, a whole bunch of people, and a midnight clear, a whole bunch of people. And, and then the other side of the office, for some reason, they were just single images. La Bamba was a single in image of Richie Valens holding his guitar. Desperado was a single image of Antonio Banderas holding his gun. Um, I'm just forgetting what the next one was. But somehow, um, to me, as I was sitting there thinking, those with multiple images are not that, don't move me. <laughs> they don't move me. And somehow the ones with the single image, there you go, Desperado. It moved, for some reason that image moved me. It moves me. Um, I don't know, you know, and, and, and like, is, is La Bamba there? Uh, but the, the images moved me. Um, I remember that explosion. Uh, we were standing there, and the boy, we blew up the top of this building in Mexico. 
I thought, oh, they're going to kick us out of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot bigger than we had thought. <laughs> that isn't, that isn't, but it, yeah, there it is, a single image. Yeah. This, this was actually the main poster right there. But I was thinking, you know, what sells this? And when I grew up, I grew up with the end of summer poster in my, class, in my bedroom. Um, and there's no movie stars in it. There's, n there's nothing that says, you know, who the people are. And there's going to be no movie stars in this play. So how do you represent, this might not be your class, but how do you represent through a poster what we're trying to sell? Can you do Endless Summer just for the fun, for the fun of it? So the reason I just brought this up is like, there, you know, that poster is, you could go to, like I said, Beijing, and you can see that poster, and people know what it's about. You know? So if we could design, now it, that's a bit 60s in vibe, but if we can design something that, that says, you know, locals only. But the thing, yeah, the thing is, is that Santa Monica, Ocean Park, Venice Beach, there's a certain vibe. Maybe it has to do with posters, maybe it has to do with something. But I, I, it's actually what I've told real marketing departments at studios. I want to be able to see the poster from 100 yards away and not be able to read anything on it and go, oh, endless summer. Locals only. Locals only. You know? Well, in the, in, um, in the play, the, local, the valley, valley guys refer to the guys as Dogtown guys. Okay. They do. And it's still a thing. It's still part of the thing. It's the Ocean Park. You know, you're Dogtown. Um, but it'd be great to have something, you know, some really emblematic poster. Again, because you can't sell Antonio Banderas. We just don't have Antonio or whatever. Do you have the art mural set already? Or is it there is a, um, there's a muralist who the college has hired, okay. uh, a big, big time muralist. Kenny, Kenny Sharp. is that his name? Mm -hmm. Big time muralist who's going to do it and work with Santa Monica College people. I haven't met him yet. I'm going to meet him shortly. Because that's kind of like it's telling the story. Yeah, it's telling the story. It reflects back into the story. As the story progresses, right. things happen. The mural reflects the emotional stuff, some of the physical stuff. Yeah, this is kind of a groundbreaking thing. The idea that the whole college can be involved in making something that is going to go off and have a life on its own. You guys are academics. You know, you're doing things that have no kind of, not real life, but this is something completely practical because it'll happen. What, what we're saying is that, you know, anyone who wants to participate in any aspect of this play, you're all Santa Monica Colleges, you can. Just it's that simple. If you want to be actors or write music or if you come up with a poster idea or want to be involved, there is a clear, there's some type of, there will be some type of clearinghouse. But are you a teacher, you just say, hey, listen, I have an idea, you know, that's not in your department, you know, and, and then maybe you can steer them in the right way. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's an open project. We're trying to involve anyone who wants to be participating in creating a really great play. And the interesting thing is not just a bunch of actors with some, some deaths on a set. It's making movies. Complete, you know, the gra it's, it, there's a 90-minute movie that has to be shot. <laughs> there's a mural that has to be designed, which is completely separate than the movie because it's, and it has a life of its own. There are graphics. There's a lot of graphics in this where they see, you know, it says kissing or that it, it says different things appear on the screen graphically. Even at one point where um, one of the characters sings, you know, wants to sing like a romantic song and he sings lines, you know, like up where we belong. He starts singing a few things. But on the screen, every great romantic song starts appearing in lines. <laughs> see, you know, unless you'll be able to read all of them unless you see the play several times, but there'll be lines from great love songs kind of expressing what he says. That graphics have to be designed. Some, some graphic designer is going to have to design those graphics so they have impact, they're readable, they fit the play. So we're trying to involve every department and everyone who wants to do something. And the great thing is you can go see it. You know, um, originally I said yes, and then I've been advised by uh, the administration here that they're worried that if we kind of send the play out, that someone could, it could get abused, it could end up on the line, it could end up, they don't want to do that. 
So there's a summary. There's like a 10-page summary that goes into the songs a bit, that goes into the sets. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. Absolutely. We're excited. We're excited. Okay.